Hey everybody, John here, and I got my best bro Chris from the Vegan Zombie. How's it going? Well, most of you probably know that uh, I was part of the Vegan Zombie for many years, and, um, and you'll still always be. Always be. Still am. I still am. But we wanted to talk a lot about why I kind of disappeared off that channel, and you know the reasons that led to me kind of stepping away for a little bit, and what we plan on doing with. Uh, with the Vegan Zombie channel together and also what I plan on doing on this channel from here on out. So we're going to turn it over to Chris now and he's kind of just going to give a, a history of what I did on the Vegan Zombie channel. Okay, so real quick because I already have like in detail um, a quarter of this on my other channel, but I started the Vegan Zombie about 10 years ago. I hated my job. I just was thinking of things I loved and it came out to be a vegan zombie kind of a movie. I wrote a script for it which is going to be in uh, the, the the TV series that we're about to do at the end of this year, check out the Kickstarter below if you want. But um, so I wanted to start this movie, but I also needed to get practice. So I started a YouTube show. The YouTube show would be the best thing to do to get practice doing, you know, movie visual effects and lighting, directing everything. But at the same time, promote veganism. It was a unique idea where it was a vegan cooking show in a zombie apocalypse. I did not want to be in front of the camera. I was I was afraid to be in front of the camera. I wasn't good in front of the camera. But I loved being behind the camera and creating and directing and, and throwing the ideas out. So I went to my friend John, who I met through my youngest brother. They were friends. There's about a six-year age difference between us. And he said he loves the idea. He wants to do that. So. You know, we started out maybe like once a month we would do these videos where we would get together. These were really intense too. Like it wasn't just like a quick vlog. We would get, you know, different, you know, recipes and we would test them and I would shoot them and we'd put like zombie aspects in it and just really make it cinematic and fun. And he was the guy, he was the chef, he was the personality. And, you know, throughout the years we, we had a cookbook and um, near the end, well, there is no end, it's still going, but as time progressed, John didn't really have time anymore and it put a strain on the series because I wanted to do everything into this. All of my free time was in the Vegan Zombie. I wanted video, 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 but I couldn't do that when my main star didn't have the time to do it. And I didn't know how to tell you guys um, because it just, you know, if he had time, that's the only time we could do it. So it, it got far and few between, and you know, maybe he could do a video once a month, month, two months, three months. And so then I realized that if, if he up and quit, then I would lose everything I worked hard for. So that's when I got in front of the camera, and now you guys, if, if you're familiar with my channel, The Vegan Zombie, you know me uh, on the channel, and a lot of people that are new to the channel might never have seen John. So. I want you know John to tell his uh, you know story of why he kind of pulled away and how we're you know we're here right now and he's talking to you. Yeah, so it got uh, it got really hard towards the end there, and I never really I never quit. It was just like Chris, for right now I'm swamped. I have so much other stuff going on. I'll get back to you and let you know. But there were so many other things going on while I was saying no, 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 I can't do it. I can't do it. Besides my job. Yes, my job was very demanding, still is. Um, takes a very serious toll on my, um, I guess my mental capacity. You know, like I get home from work and I can't focus on doing other stuff. Right, and we kind of did like a reverse. Like I was the one that was so afraid to be in front of people and talk and be on camera. And you were the one that would save me from that, especially when we did um, demos and stuff in front of live audiences. And then it kind of got to the point where, you know, I got used to being in front of the camera and John, you got anxiety and you couldn't do it. Yeah, that was that was the other huge thing. For some reason, um, I mean, I got I have a lot of self doubt issues, and I, I might touch up on that in another video. I don't know how in depth we want to go on things that happened in the past, where I want to more focus on the positive things in the future now that I'm feeling a lot better. But anyway, um, really bad self doubt issues and just just super uh, anxious in, in front of the camera whenever we'd have to film it. I would get very irritable because I would just feel stupid like, you know, this recipe sucks. Everybody else is probably so much better than me. Really, really hard on myself and it made me just not want to shoot video ever. So I kind of avoided Chris like the plague and it was tough because he's a really, really good friend of mine. I mean, we've known each other, oh my gosh, since I was in middle school. So uh, 
it, it was hard to disappear, but I just was not feeling good about myself. And it's really hard when you're not feeling good about yourself to pretend to be happy in front of the camera. Um, but Chris really had a huge part in me creating this channel because um, when I started to feel better in the last few weeks, I realized I can do even more good. I can, I can spread veganism even more versus just working at Mockingbird Farm. I can share my experiences at the farm. I can cook in the kitchen and just have a quick video up there about what I make in, in the morning for breakfast or something. But we do want to keep doing you know, recipes on the main channel. It's just going to be maybe once a month. I, I'm not sure yet until I can kind of see what happens here. I do want to post on this channel definitely once a week, but maybe twice or even three times without annoying everybody. So. Yeah, and as things progress on your channel now, you can get more time probably free enough to do more videos and then eventually, you know, we want to get maybe once a month or ev once every two months uh, one of those classic vegan zombie style videos on my channel. So. Yeah, yeah. Cause those were, I mean, those, that, were, those were, if you haven't checked those videos out, those, uh, those first, well, not the first couple of videos, but like, Right in the middle, the like, I want to say what, 2010, 2012 was probably our... 10, 11, well, 11, 12, 13. I, I'd say the first three or four years. Those were the epic like zombie videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and, that, and by the way, like I created this channel right before Walking Dead was out. So when it kind of like hit, Walking Dead was a brand new thing and everybody was into zombies. So it just it made it that much more cool. Yeah. Um, but I had so much fun working with Chris and like making everybody laugh that I really wanted to do that again and that's kind of where you talked me into for, honestly you talked me into doing this this channel because I get to share a side of myself that maybe make, make somebody laugh or inspire somebody or or just make somebody even think you know and, and I think that that's a big part of what I want to do and just look at your first video that you made you, you put it together in your fashion that you wanted to do it and uh, I mean you have a lot of a lot of likes and a lot of really good positive comments from everybody that has missed you over the years and some people that are excited to see you for the first time so yeah yeah and honestly since I posted that last video all I keep thinking about is I want to do a video on this I want to do a video on this and and it's made me um, it's made my uh, my mental health I guess just a lot stronger the last few days since I posted that you're video. looking forward to something positive like you're excited about something yeah it's almost like a, it's almost like a form of therapy posting posting these videos and working on editing and stuff and actually right behind me uh, you can see my amp here this is where I'm gonna re be recording all of the background music um, gonna be just right in loops with my guitar and I have a little keyboard over there so it's cool because I get to use all of my talents or things that I'm sort of talented at and making these videos and, and you get to see a lot of me so thanks for thanks for watching and uh, is there anything else we oh we, we definitely want to be putting out more content like we said at least once a month and also I, I plan on having you on this channel once a month as far as vegan zombie, vegan zombie but, but like I, I plan on you several having... times a week on my channel and, and as you're getting used to this like you want to be posting like you're you're promising them like at least once but you're gonna try to do a couple of times at, at least at least uh definitely once but i'm hoping two or three yeah uh, just I, different I think, videos you know, music food like i kind of want to sprinkle it all in there and to piggyback on something you said like i just want to say real quick and maybe we can talk about it in another video but um as far as you saying that this is kind of like a therapy like for me, over the years of Vegan Zombie, it, it was a therapy because I had self-doubt, I had low self-esteem issues, and it kind of made me like think differently and be able to, you know, do do the videos that I do and be confident about it and help others. Mm -hmm. And it was a form of therapy. Like if you looked at me back then and look at me now, I'm a complete different person. Definitely, I I agree. For uh, sure. I mean, I couldn't even sit like he was talking about. It. We were doing something like this way back in the day when we first started and I think I had to do take two, take three, take 39 because um, I couldn't talk in front of the camera and now I, I'm just I'm just okay with it you know I'm like I'm just gonna talk and even if I don't like my voice I'm going to do it and I'm gonna put it out there because this is me this is who I am I, this is the only body I have and, um, and it's so funny because we just did one of these where we just met each other on the way and then uh, and then I went down and where I, I I couldn't say anything. I couldn't be in front of the camera. I couldn't go into public. I still have issues with being out in, in public, and I, I'll I'll definitely touch on that on another video because um, 
I just think it's important to talk about social anxiety and what kind of effect it can have on somebody. Definitely. It can really, uh, it can keep you from living your life.